Hi, thanks for tuning in to facepaint.com. I'm Shelly Wapniak. And I'm Jessica Mello, and we are here to review fantasy effects from Mayron. All right, so just sponging on some of the orange color using the Mayron Fantasy FX cream-based makeups. All right, now we're gonna switch arms and we're gonna switch to a brush. I think it goes on really nice with the brush, actually. I think it comes out really thick. So if you're doing it on the face, if you need a thick mask, if you're doing a Halloween makeup, which is what I believe the uh, Fantasy FX um, sells the best for, uh, it definitely is using a lot of like makeup and special effects designs. So if you want a thick, opaque base, I find, I'm finding that the brush really does a good job of that. I tend to lend to sponges often just because it gets you faster coverage, but for a really detailed design that you want to last, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. I think that a lot of the people who buy this particular form of makeup are ones that haven't done a lot of face painting or body painting, and so they're going into a store and picking up something that they don't have to wet themselves as a pre made product, which makes it easier for people who don't have experience, you know, knowing how to wet the cakes properly, or, so I think it is a good. Do you think that's why they're drawn into it? I, I think so, because if people are doing their own Halloween makeup, it's prepared. They don't need to water it down, they don't need to um, figure out the right ratio of water to paint um, when you have the cake makeup. Honestly, I really like it. I actually always thought it would be greasy, but it's not. It oh, dries, it's not greasy at all. dries really well. Uh, let's see how it works for line work. Now, how do you think it compares to Paradise? Because I know we both use Paradise a lot, and that's from Mayron as well. I think it's similar. I think that it comes kind of has a diff uh, very similar quality to it when it dries. Uh, the Mayron you have to wet, obviously, um, and then you can decide on your own consistency of how heavy and thick you want it, which a lot of us like. We like that control. Great. So we are reviewing the Fantasy FX Mayron product right now. We really love it for space, but if you're a control freak and need to be able to control your own opacity, I don't recommend it for that. I would not recommend it for line work either, but for strictly for base that can dry fast and is light on the skin, it is a fantastic product, especially if you don't have water ready and available to you for mixing. Um, it is already pre-mixed for you. All right, thank you for watching our Mayron review. Follow the links below to purchase. Facepaint.com, Shelly Wapniak. And I'm Jessica Mello. Thank you for joining. Mwah.